Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. The other Chad is joining us. It's been a while since you've been here. Not really. Like, yeah, you were just here for the... Uh, Cooper's Cave. Yeah, Cooper's Cave. Sucks that those beers one day. Good, though. Oh, well. <laughs> but, well, this hopefully make up for it. This is a Three Floyd's Dreadnought IPA. I believe it's a double or an Imperial IPA. Um, I know you said you're a hophead, right? Yep. It says, uh, a hophead's dream beer. There you go. This Imperial India, India Pale Ale has an opening salvo of mango, peach, and citrus hop aromas that sit atop a pronounced caramel malt backbone. Although Dreadnought is a strong and intensely hoppy ale, its complex flavor is both smooth and memorable. Not sure of the ABV on this, but knowing Three Floyds is probably pretty high. And I forgot my bottle opener. Alright, we're back. Spilled a little when I poured, but uh, stick around to the end, that'll be in the bonus material. So, Alcohol abuser. Yeah. Uh, as for appearance, it's a uh, straight orange, a little hazy. Uh, neither of us got much head at all here. Hop oils, like I said. Yeah. It smells great. It's uh, just like the bottle said. It said mango, peach, citrus. I would agree with that. Very West Coast kind of smell. Very, very clean smelling. Mm -hmm. It's one thing I like about IPAs. They kind of, they s just smell kind of clean. I guess it's because we associate like citrus aroma with like a cleaning product or something. It's because they're from the cannabis family. I guess. <laughs> Alright, you ready to dive into this? Yeah. Alright, cheers. Wow. Oh. That's, it's almost more like fruit juice than a beer. It's very bitter. Yeah. I wouldn't say fruit juice. Bitter. It could be in a good way. Oh, well, yeah, I mean... That's, that's one of the great things about IP, IPAs is they can take bitterness and make it tasty. It's um it's cool and refreshing. Yeah, but I don't think I could drink but, a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say, while it's in your mouth, the hops the hops are sticking around here. They're 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 a little drying, but they're not they're not, you know, intolerable. I've had other IPAs that were much drier than this. I don't know, I think if I had more than probably what I have here, my tongue would just roll over and give up. Hmm. It's citrus and a, like a little bit of floral notes. Reminds me a little bit of a, like Ithaca flower power. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer Citrusy, flowery, or piney hops. I like piney better, I think. I don't want to taste fruity. <laughs> Drink some IPA. No, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of West Coast styles have that citrusy hops to them. This is, you know, Three Floyds are out of Indiana, so I find that to. Uh, you know, Midwestern breweries can go either way. This is reminding me more of like a West Coast IPA, but it's a. Uh, it seems a little more like richer. Like there's a, like a stickiness to the body. You know. Yeah, I like the way it leaves the bitterness in the back of my mouth. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna sip on these and we'll come back with our final thoughts. All right, we are back with our final thoughts on the Three Floyds Dreadnought. Do you want me to go first? Or do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I, I, I really like it. I mean, it's like I said, not something I would be able to drink a lot of. But you know, if I just wanted something very bitter and hoppy, then you yeah, know, and it was available, then I do it for it. What do you think grading wise? What's the scale again? <laughs> oh, I mean, you can use whatever scale you want. I'd say four out of five. Okay. Like uh, an eight out of ten, or. 
B plus or nine out of ten. You know, mm-hmm. the, I don't know. It's just I, there's just something that's I can't that I can't seem to put my finger on it. That's not letting me give it a full. Yeah. This reminds me. I did the uh, Captain Lawrence Captain's Reserve IPA with Jay over the weekend. And it's a similar to that, but it's a lot more juicy. Um, but the same kind of caveat to it is that there's a definite dry back end, and like the hops are lingering. It's really dried me out. Um, like this would be great with some spicy food, you know. Mm-hmm. It's actually kind of a challenge to drink on its own because it's. I mean, it's not that it's like literally hard to drink. It's just that it's. Because it's so robust and so rich, that uh, you know, like it's, you know, you would have, I, I would need something to help <laughs> take an edge off the bitterness. If I was going to drink the whole yeah pint in twenty two ounces. I was telling Chad off camera. It reminds me of uh, Bell's Hop Slam, but without the honey. I really like this a lot. I I would agree with you. I'm going to go nine out of ten on this one. I think it's excellent. Not quite. A perfect beer, but really, I mean, it's, really, really, it's really good. But I think it's maybe it's too bitter for its own a good. You yeah, know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's like it's a good bitter, but it's you yeah. know maybe if, if something else was done to it, then it would yeah blend a little bit better and taste. Yeah, like if we had like some sharp cheese or. Spicy food. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Kind of I'm just saying that you know, beer by itself. Yeah. It's just, it's just off just a little bit, hmm. and I can't put my finger on it because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. It's also oh, I forgot to mention. It's nine point five percent ABV. So, but they do a very good job of, uh, you know, kind of using the alcohol. Like it's, there's, there's no heat on this. You know. Yeah. If if, if I'm going to drink something with a High ABV, I prefer a bar of wine. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, because you're not drinking a lot of the that, you're drinking a Sip. smaller. Yeah. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for the Three Floyds Dreadnought Imperial IPA. I'm saying 9 out of 10, you're saying... 9 out of 10, you're 4 saying, out of 5. Wouldn't that be 4.5? Yeah. All right, well, thanks to Chad for coming over. Thanks to... uh. Adam in Indiana for sending me this beer, actually. YouTube.com slash fanbrew. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next beer review. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. Uh, mango, peach, citrus, hops. I would agree with that. Oh, shit. <laughs> there was more in there than I thought. So, obviously. Gag real.